All right, today what we're going to do is use what we learned about law of sines and law of cosines and use it with applications or what really happens in reality using law of cosines and sines. So each of these story problems are things that could happen and what could be used. So with every story problem, after we read it and figure out what we have, what we need to find, the best thing to do is to draw a picture. So I will do the first three with you and then you will continue on your worksheet and finish it up. Number one, during a figure skating routine, Jackie and Peter skate apart with an angle of 15 degrees between them. Jackie skates for 5 meters and Peter skates for 7 meters. How far apart are the skaters? So let's remember our ultimate goal is to figure out how far they are apart. Now what I'm going to do is actually draw this out. So Jackie will skate for 15 meters. And I'm going to label everything that I see so I know I draw it out correctly. And then Peter skates for 7 meters. They are 15 degrees in between them. So what we are trying to find is how far they are apart. The way we learned how to do law of sines and law of cosines was to label our ABC. When it comes to story problems, you can label the A, B, and C no matter what angle you want. Just make sure the side opposite is the same letter. So I'm going to say that Jackie's A, Peter is B, and when they start with C. This means that 5 meters is little b, 7 meter is little a, and the side we're trying to find is little c. This allows us to organize our work a little bit better. We know big C is 15 degrees. Little a is 7. Little b is 5. Now, when we were learning law of sines and cosines, we were fi finding every missing angle inside. But this time, all we need to do is find what's given to us. So this is why I'm highlighting it. Because could we find these? Yes. But do we have to? No. Our goal is to find, in this case, C. How far Jackie and Peter are apart. So now that we drew it and we know what we're solving for, what law are we going to use? We have two sides and an angle. There are no pairs. So that means we are going to use law of cosines. Which means if I set up this equation correctly, I would have c squared equals 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 7 times 5 cosine 15. Now, when we put this into our calculator, remember you want to make sure you're in degrees. So go to mode and make sure your degree is highlighted. Luckily, since this is law of cosines and we're solving for C, we just have to plug this in and take the square root. So, 7 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 7 times 5 cosine 15. Enter and take the square root of our answer. And we get 2.527. If this equation does not look familiar to you, you might want to stop the video 
can either ask me or go to the video on 5.4 law of cosines. This is our answer, but of course, because we are dealing with this situation, we need to put our units, and so that means we are in meters. Number two, a bridge is supported by a triangular brace, braces. The sides of each brace have lengths of 63 feet, 46 feet, and 40 feet. Find the measure of the angle opposite the 46 foot side. All right, so I'm gonna draw my triangle. Let's see, this down here looks like the longest side, so I'll call that 63. 46 and 40. We are trying to find the measure of the angle opposite to 46. So here's 46. So we are trying to find this angle right here. Yet again, our side lengths aren't labeled with A, B, and C like we're used to solving. You can label it no matter how we want just as long as you're solving for the correct missing part. So I will label this as A. Remember side lengths are the lowercase B and C, which means the opposite angles are that letter. So this is big B, big C, and big A. Alright, let's organize our work like we used to. Little a is 63, little b is 46, and little c is 40. And we are trying to find angle b. So we have side, side, side. Hopefully, this is telling you to start with law of cosines. But, if you remember, law of cosines with side, side, side tells you you have to solve for which side first. Yes, the longest side. If we look at the longest side and the angle right here, it's angle A. But we want angle B. So we're going to have to solve for A before we solve for B. So let's set that up. We get 63 squared might equal, sorry, 46 squared minus 40 squared, and that is not minus, it is plus, I apologize, minus 2 times 46 times 40 cosine of our angle A. Okay. If you need help solving this, you can go back and watch 5.4 or call me over. I will do this in the calculator right now. So what we're going to do is say 63 squared. And we have to do the inverse operation for each of these. So we're going to subtract 46 squared subtract 40 squared and if you remember this negative 2 46 and 40 are multiplied to cosines so to get rid of it we have to divide but don't forget parentheses negative 2 times 46 times 40 and then to get rid of cosine we have to do the inverse cosine So we get that angle A is 93.942. Alright, so after law of cosines, we then can go to law of sines. So we're going to solve for angle B. So it's sine of angle B 
over 46 equals, we're going to use our pair, sine of 93.942 divided by 63. If you don't remember how to solve this, stop the video now and call me over. But if we're getting B by itself, we need to multiply by 46 and do inverse sine. So on the calculator, inverse sine, extra set of parentheses, 46 times sine of 93.942. divided by 63. So we get that angle B is 46.755 degrees. And that's the one we want. Alright, last one and then you guys get to try this by yourself. Fire towers A and B are located 10 miles apart. Rangers at fi Fire Tower A spot a fire at 42 degrees, and Rangers at Fire Tower B spot the same fire at 64 degrees. How far are the ta how far for Tower A is the fire to the nearest tenth of a mile? So we are looking at how far Tower A is to the fire. Alright, so I can start out by saying this is Tower A, and 10 miles apart we have Tower B, 42 degrees, Tower A, spots of fire, I am not a good drawer, but there's our fire, so 22. And then at tower B, we have 63. So we are trying to find how far the fire is from tower A. What's nice about this problem is it starts being A, B, which automatically makes the fire C. So let's remember the angle and the side length across from it have that relationship. So there is side B, side A, and side C. Angle A is 42. Angle B is 63. Angle C we don't know. Side A we don't know. Side B we don't know, but side C is 10. We are trying to find that side from A to C, which is our side B. We have angle, angle, side. So which law should we use? Hopefully, you said law of signs. Even though we do not have a pair, we have two angles, which means we can find the third angle by subtracting those two from 180. So 180 minus 42 minus 63 gives us 75. Oh. I made a mistake guys, it is 64 degrees, not 63, which makes this 74. Alright, now we have our pair to make our law of signs. 
So we are trying to find side B, which means underneath it would be sine 64 equals, and then we're going to use our pair, which is 10 over sine 74. Remember that our angles will always go with our trig function. So in this case, all we have to do is multiply it by sine of 64. So 10 times sine 64 divided by sine of 74. So that means that the fire is 9 point. Now really quickly, it said to the nearest tenth of a mile. So that 5 would bring that 3 up. And again, we are doing a story problem, so we need our units, and we are in miles. Alright, everybody, it's your turn to continue this worksheet to try to use these applications. Don't forget to draw and remember what you are solving for.